everybody, welcome back. Today we have something very special on the bench, the all-new Unity UT8805E, 200,000 counts of digital multimeter goodness. Let's take a look. Big thanks to Unity for sending the UT8805E in for this review. The Unity UT8805E is part of the Unity UT8000E series a bench top digital multimeters. The 8000E series is a new generation of reliable, cost-effective, and fully capable digital bench meters. This is the biggest of the bunch. There's four in the series, the 8802E, the 8804, 8803, and of course, the one we're looking at today, the 8805. This is a mini review. It's not going to be a full head-on teardown. I just wanted to get this out there right away because I know I did advertise this a little while ago on the channel and I got a lot of people saying, hey, where's my Unity? You promised us. So Here first thing worth go. pointing out is the fact that we don't actually get a manual with the 8805E. No manual Unity. Oh, instead, we have to download it digitally via their website, which can be problematic at times. I really wish um, that we had that manual included with the meter. Ah, anyway, it is what it is, right? A little safety instruction working uh, manual. And of course, something uh, kind of funky is our Unitrend Technology product certificate. So this is basically a calibration certificate. A certificate number, as you can see at the top, right here. So this is unique to this multimeter. 8805E is listed. Here's the calibration testing dates, August 12th, 2021. Uh, and it is good until August 12th, 2022. So one year uh, of calibration provided with this certificate. In the data sheet as well, you have the calibration modes all listed cleanly here. DC volts, AC volts, goes all the way down to resistance. And uh, no surprise, uh, Unity utilized a Fluke 5522A calibrator for these measurements. The benchmeter ships with some really sweet test leads. These are uh, 10 amp rated, have a nice protective cover on the top. And look at that, nice and sharp with a gold tip. This should be quite nice in terms of continuity. Uh, they are silicone, nice and long. And yeah, they did, they did a really good job with the test leads. Thank you so much. We also get a little pair of crocodile clips here. Now they're really tiny. But uh, nonetheless, we do get them. For me, that's kind of a bonus for a bench meter. Finally, Unity provides us with that RS-232 cable because yes, you can connect this to a computer and do even more. Okay, let's take a closer look at the meter itself. This is a pretty good size bench meter. Uh, yes, there is a slight footprint on your bench, but that is par for the course with any bench meter today. That being said, uh, first looks without even touching the unit is, wow, this is a quality piece of hardware. Um, everything seems solidly built and it's just a good looking bench meter. You do have this adjustable tilt stand as well. Basically pull it out and flip it down to where you want to put it. For now, I'm just going to leave it in the upright position. Just makes things a little bit easier. The finish is excellent. This is a professional bench meter, no doubt about it. Nice, solid metal chassis with good rubber guard inlays. All in all, attention to detail is exquisite. Hey, the UT181A is here for a good time, not a long time. This gives you a pretty good indication of the size of the UT8805E bench meter. Yeah, it's big. Um, 181A is a big multimeter, but it's just it's dwarfed. This just no match in terms of size for this bench meter. So you're definitely gonna wanna have a little bit of space on the bench when you get one of these. Back of the multimeter, Unity has not skimped at all. They have provided pretty well all the connectivity you need. Um, we have our RS-232 here. We have our Cat5 ethernet over here the usb out and there is our fuse that's the f2 f 250 milliamp 250 volt fuse take your screwdriver open it up take out the fuse like Back so here we have our kingston locking mode so if you want to lock this on your bench if you're in a busy place there you go hook up that kensington lock and you are safe and sound another nice feature with this as well is it's universal in terms of voltage around the world 100 volts 120 220 and 240 volts uh, this model can do it all simply just change kamsa however you want that voltage because i'm in canada i'm leaving it on the 120 volts nice solid rocker switch good quality 
once again, uh, I've got no complaints at all. Uh, first looks, first impressions. This is a quality test. When the computer is turned off, you still have a glow coming from the power button, that nice red hue. Just letting you know that indeed power is coming to the meter. Kind of like that idea. Okay, let's turn it on, shall we? A couple of chirps, and we are greeted with the ubiquitous Unity logo. And wow, that was fast. So literally a couple of seconds and we are there ready for action. Defaults to volts DC. Um, doesn't matter what range you put it on. You can close it, turn it off, say you're in capacitance, turn it back on. It's always going to default to the volts DC. Slight humming coming from one of the fans cooling the system. Uh, most bench meters do come with not only passive cooling, but a fan based cooling solution. This Unity is no different. In terms of input impedance, uh, under 20 volts, you've got a whopping 10 giga ohm of input impedance. Uh, other than that, it's your standard 10 mega ohm. And the USB port that it comes with on the front is putting out 5.15 volts, definitely in the USB range. Another neat feature with the Unity is the fact that you can actually remove that tilt stand. Yes, it is removable. Just a gentle pull on each side. Might have to fendangle it a little bit, but at the end of the day, it just comes out like so. And that way, if you don't want to have a tilt stand, you don't have to. Right now, we're looking at 4.9999 volts, and we are also close. 5.0000 is what we want to see. And uh, hey, that is very nice. Boy, you can't beat that resolution. God, I love it. And with resistance, no worries here whatsoever. 100 ohm coming up as 100.031. Depending on the accuracy you want, you can also switch the speed of the reading from medium to fast, fast to slow, really up to you. Obviously the slower the reading time, the more accurate your reading is going to be. Everything here is totally customizable. You have a return, update, a history list. Um, here are the last few measurements that we looked at and you can see it's all categorized really nice and you can copy this over to the software itself or just leave it verbose on the display whatever you want that was a quick first look at the awesome new unity ut8805e full review coming soon until the next one keep on testing